previously we have done introduction to R part 1 and 2 this is part 3 so in part 3 we will talk about the graphics graphics is a, is a very important part of R and there is a command basic command actually this is plot and we use x comma y to see the plot go to graphic device which is active see this is from x and y so what was x x was 1 to 5 and y was 6 to 10 that's why when you see the graphic device it's like 1 to 5 and 6 to 10 this is the plot command for the two dimensional but for one dimension you can also plot it like plot x you will get some graphics for 1 to 10 x is also 1 to oh, sorry for 1 to 5 x is also 1 to 5 so this is how the graphics Device is on. You could try the box plot of X. Yeah, looks like a box plot. And then the histogram of X. Yeah, this is the histogram. Or you could try the plot density. This is the density plot of x so this is how the graphic device works or you could uh, see the help file if you want to know more about how to plot or the more parameters in it for example try help of plot okay here is x here is y we could use type okay what is type let's see what is type oh resize yeah previously we have done plot xy i just go to history by pressing up then i try type because line l yeah, previously it was dots, now it is line. And see there are other types like P for points, both for P and so on. We could use the main title, subtitle like this. Main equals say my title. Yeah, you see, main equals my title controls and similarly you could go for subtitles as well x labels y labels and here are some details and you could also see some relevant functions and nice examples so if you want to know some more about these commands like if you want to know about histogram just type in like this and there is a whole lot of literature you can look up and see or if you want to use and there are nice examples you can learn how to use them and that's it so now I will show you how to save whatever you have done so far to save you could just cross it save workspace image if you press yes the workspace will be saved whatever you have done so far will be saved and when you come next time go up and look up the history everything will be there the x variable that you put here 1 to 5 y variable 6 to 10 everything will be there but if you press no everything will be vanished my YouTube and you have to start over again that's it so this is the part 3 of introduction to R hope you enjoyed it see you